This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that helps you build your online presence and run your business. It's really good. I didn't expect it to be that good. It's so good. What the hell? <laughs> what am I eating? <laughs> We're Lloyd and Mandy. We're digital nomads currently traveling the world in search of somewhere we can call our home base. We've been on the island of Shargao in the Philippines for the past few weeks, and today you're joining us in Manila, where we plan on experiencing this crazy city in the most local way possible. So we're spending the weekend in Manila. Um, we spoke about the American influence here and we've just stumbled across this American diner which is across the road from our hotel. And tonight we're going to a basketball game, a Filipino playoff basketball game. I didn't realize before coming here how big basketball was, but after speaking to some locals and doing their research, it's the number one sport here. And we managed to be here when there's couple of big games on so I thought why not. <laughs> Tickets were really cheap. We got VIP box seats like second row, uh, second level, first row for $10 each. So I don't know what to expect. How many people are going to be there? But we're pretty excited. This is the coolest diner we've been to in ages. It really reminds me of when I used to go on trips to America with my family. It really feels like that. It's so cool. Coldest beer we've had in the Philippines. Must be because it's an American diner. <laughs> Usually when we travel, um, I get hangry, but Mandy's hangry today. She didn't eat enough breakfast. Yeah. I'm hangry and I feel like I can't even string a sentence together right now and I'm saying a lot of stupid things. I need food. <laughs> oh my god, this burger is the size of my head. <laughs> Not just American style, American size as well. <laughs> it's huge. Okay guys, we're just going to take a quick break to tell you a little bit more about Squarespace. Having started our digital nomad careers in e-commerce about four years ago, we've used tons of different website building applications and we found that Squarespace is by far the easiest to use. Whether you sell physical products, digital products, or you just want to start a blog, Squarespace has all the tools you need to get your online journey started. It's really easy to get started by using website templates that can be customized to fit your needs. Uh, you just browse the category of your business to find a perfect starting point and go from there. Believe it or not, these days you actually don't have to be a web designer or graphic designer to build a really good, easy to use and great looking website, which means you can save thousands of dollars on outsourcing by paying designers to build your website for you. You can also make use of insights to help grow your business by learning where your site traffic is coming from and build a long-term marketing strategy. So if you are interested in using Squarespace today head over to squarespace.com slash Lloyd Mandy and you'll receive a free trial as well as 10% off your first website or domain purchase so either head to squarespace.com slash Lloyd Mandy or simply use code Lloyd Mandy at checkout to receive 10% off all right now back to the video that burger was so good I ate it way too quickly we just grabbed a taxi we are on our way to the stadium now it's about 45 minutes away but I'm so excited this is my first basketball game well, <laughs> don't know what to expect be good. I'm excited so I'm not totally sure yet but from what I can gather it's playoffs and it's a double header so there's one game on at three and another game on at five it's about 
four o'clock, so we're going to only catch the second game, but I don't know. If it's the playoffs, it should be a pretty good atmosphere. Hopefully it's a full house. It's Friday night. I was not sure what I was really expecting. I was not expecting this nice of a like stadium. It's beautiful in here. One it's, of each. Yeah. Yep. yep. Both. 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 Yep. Sir, mom, we have to transfer in a plastic cup. Okay. 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 Do you want with ice? No. Ice, please. Yes. yes. Please. Got my new handbag. Lloyd's got the beers. We're ready for a good basketball game. All the ingredients to a perfect night. If I do say so myself. This is awesome. They've got Taco Bell here. They've got Dairy Queen. I'm not sure what else you need. What's 
just ordered so much food. <laughs> I got chicken and spaghetti and a champ burger. And I got you uh, a chicken sandwich and jolly spaghetti. And we got a mini sundae each. Yay! And iced tea. Yay. And then a little jolly robot's gonna bring it over. So excited. Cool. <laughs> when we first got to Manila and I saw this place, I knew I recognized it somewhere and then we realized we'd seen it on Anthony Bourdain. When he came to Manila, this was the first place he came. Um, I haven't re-watched that episode, but it's pretty funny that he came to a fast food joint. Um, I think this is like a Filipino favorite. They talk it up so much. Um, so far, it seems pretty cool. <laughs> Been waiting for like 20 minutes. So hungry. Annie decided to um, unpack her bag and repack it before we left. So now I'm angry. Yeah. <laughs> the kids love it. <laughs> Good food, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Looks like there's four of us. Like usual. At least everything's there. Thanks, buddy. Is that what you put? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Said goodbye. I love the kids waving. Okay, fast food spaghetti. It smells unreal, actually. <laughs> what we got here? Chan burger. Oh, that's huge. I thought it was going to be a tiny little burger. It's massive. You got way too much food. That's all right. I'm going to have to take some home. We just skipped dinner. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> and I got... Yum. So not healthy and I don't mind. <laughs> I'll try this chicken first. What about spaghetti? It's got sausages in it. Yeah. So weird having spaghetti in fast food. <laughs> yeah. mm. It's actually really good. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's like that um, spaghetti in a can sort of. Yeah. I like that it has cheese on it. Cheese is really nice. Well. It's really good. I didn't expect it to be that good. It's so good. What the hell? <laughs> what am I eating? It looks pretty bloody good. Tomato, mayo, 
shopping malls in the Philippines. Um, I did learn that they love the shopping malls because of the air conditioning, which makes a lot of sense because it's very hot. We're gonna go see if we can find um, some books and some things to make our upcoming flight a bit more comfortable. In the next video we'll share where we're heading off and why, but uh, yeah, gotta do some running around. All right, we made it back to our hotel uh, after about an hour of shopping. That's enough for us, I think. I don't know about anyone else, but we get really tired when we're shopping and we get over it pretty quick. I don't know if it's the people or just walking around. Um, so that was enough for us. We got what we needed, but we're back in our hotel here. I don't know if we mentioned, but we're staying in an area called Makati. It's right in the middle of the city, but I did some research and found like it's kind of a mix between a trendy like spot with restaurants and bars and there's lots of shopping centers. But it's also like the red light district as well. So it's a little bit grimy, but it's pretty cool. I think it's the best area to stay in. It's the most affordable without being uh, too outdated as far as the hotels go. Yeah, there's restaurants within walking distance, heaps of bars if you're into nightlife. So it's probably a good spot to stay. We'll leave a link down below to the hotel we're staying at. Yeah, in the next video, we're gonna be uh, talking about where we're headed next. We've um, decided we're going to go to a new country to hopefully stay for a while so make sure you watch the next video make sure you subscribe and click the like button um, if you got anything to suggest for us leave it in the comments below if you think we missed anything in the philippines uh, we'll be back thank you to everyone for watching and your support uh, we really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one